Uh, you know, yesterday we went through a lot of offense and just uh, tried to, you know, clean up some execution. And today uh, we went back to uh, a lot of defense. We still worked on some offense, uh, but uh, we spent uh, a lot of time cleaning up on the defensive end. Are you getting the communication you want defensively? Because we saw before, you know, it's got to be about team defense. Yeah, and that you know that's something that I think teams work on the entire year is communicating, and uh, it's so important that you know you have good communication out on the floor. Uh, I think it makes you stronger. I think it intimidates uh, opponents when you're talking. You know, you, when you when you listen to football teams and, and that linebacker is calling out all the the, the commands and uh, putting people in their place. That is what we're looking to get uh, in the NBA. And, you know, all coaches in basketball, you know, that's one of the things that uh, we've always tried to work on is having a great communicating team. Uh, so it's something I thought we, we did a good job, you know, today, and it's something we'll have to continue to work on every day. I would say uh, Monte talks, Paul talks, Stucky. Uh, but Dan Burke is the best, best on the defensive end. Yeah. <laughs> but if your defense is on the other end of the floor for the team bench, then yeah, well, that, but, that, but but that's where it's it's got to be a co collective effort, and a lot of times, you know, it's going to be one or two guys. Yeah, it's normally it's going to be your center or your forwards because they're the last line of defense. They kind of see everything, and they have to let the guards a lot of times know. But everybody has to communicate. It's, it's really not one guy, and it, and it can't be just one guy, but I would say the five, the four, the one is involved in most of the action, especially the pick and rolls. Yeah. So your five really needs to be a really good communicator. And, uh, you know, because he, he is the last line of defense a lot of times. And in, in today's game, He's involved with a lot of things, a lot of pick and rolls, a lot of post ups, uh, a lot of attacks. You know, so he has to call, you know, uh, the break offs. He has to call, you know, the commands uh, for these guards and, and everybody to make their adjustments. And it has to be, it has to be loud. So I would say the most important guy would probably be the following.